When installing any type of fibre, the primary concern is to not place tension on the fibre itself. For obvious reasons, the glass strands should not be subject to any pull forces and the pull rope or fishing rod being used to pull the fibre should be attached to the cable in such a way that the pulling tension is transferred to the aramid strength members within the jacket. The most common method to pull fibre is to remove the jacket, exposing approximately 12 inches or 300 millimetres of the aramid strengthening yarns beneath it. This is tied to the end of the pulling rope using a suitable knot and the exposed fibre may be cut off as this will likely become compromised during the pull. Various tools are available for pulling cable and a couple of examples are shown here. When using pull rods, do ensure there's a swivel adapter on the end to counter any twisting of the cable as it is extracted from the spool. Clearline also offers various sizes of multi-weave wire mesh grips. Again, it's important for a short length of the aramid strengthening yarns to be exposed and tied to the pull ring of the grip tool such that they absorb the full tension force of the pull. Now, that covers some of the general best practices that Clearline recommends when pulling fibre, so let's discuss the details behind how to prepare specific cable construction types for installation and termination.